Hey guys, welcome back to another video with lots of lots. Um, in this video, I'm gonna do a quick hair tutorial for you guys that like curly hair and don't know what the fuck you're doing with it because um, I really, really love curly hair. But it is such hard work, guys. I'm gonna teach you how to turn this into this. So first of all, um, the first thing I would like to let you know is that I always use the same products. I don't experiment, especially when I'm on my way out to somewhere. I'm gonna show you some simple products that I use all the time with all different types of hair. And to be honest, they've served me well. So like I would recommend them a lot. And they're very, very cheap products, all under about three, four pounds. And they like just maintain my hair for a very long time. So as you guys can see, I've already stuck down the lace. I've got a lot, a lot, a lot of videos on me sticking down the lace. I'm not gonna show you guys how to do that. If you'd like to see that, please head over to my other videos. Just like jump straight into it. As you can see, very bushy look right now. I've had to brush it out because it just looked crazy. But um, this isn't actually how I would start the hair. So usually um, I would wash the lace. That's the very first thing. Guys, it is very, very, very important for you guys to wash the lace if you want your hair to melt into your skin because if there's glue under the lace one it's not going to stick down properly so it's going to lift after a couple of minutes and two it's not going to give you that melted look because there's glue under the lace cool i then apply i always show you guys this in every single video i do because i've actually had it for so fucking long i don't know how i still have it um this is soleil bronzer this is just a powdery blonde bronzer that i actually use for my makeup but i actually use it sometimes to add color to my lace lots of the lace i receive are actually really good and really match to my skin tone but if i just add a little bit more of this it literally just adds to the melt so if you guys have anything powdery i would suggest powder because when you put like um foundation on your lace it doesn't give the same effect for me anyways so i prefer to use powder it's easier to wash off as well um and it doesn't add to like make the glue all tacky and stuff anything powdery that's skin to your close to your skin tone with a little brush like this lightly apply it onto the lace after washing it before sticking it onto your head i also don't like applying um powder on top of lace so like some people might add it on now for me it just makes it look really it just makes it look really makeup-y. You want your lace to look as natural as possible. So apply it before you glue your lace on. So what I like to do using a very wide tooth comb, which is usually used for like braiding hair and stuff, I like to just run through my hair. I haven't actually put any water in it so far because I actually just want to do that after the hair is untangled. There's no point of not tangling your hair and then putting in products on top of it because that's just gonna make it harder to untangle. I like to first, I would like to create my pattern. So choose whatever you'd like your pattern to be. Sorry guys, there's a mirror on this side. So, wow. So this here wants to blind me. I'm gonna put my pattern on the side there. And then from the back of my hair, I split my hair into two like this. It just helps with the detangling because there's a lot of hair on this. And using a clip, one of these. I these are this is hair magic, guys. Always have this in your if you wear weave or even if you have hair on your head, this is extremely, extremely important. You can grab them in Primark, you can grab them at the hair stop, at the hair at the hair shop, anywhere, guys. Just make sure you have at least one or two of them. Cool. So I just use that. I just clip it on. So now I'm gonna focus on this side of the hair. It makes it easier to untangle and it just makes it easier to make sure you've got on the whole head. So using my white tooth comb. I'm gonna start at the bottom. Always start brushing from the bottom, guys, because you can't untangle hair from the top because you're just gonna meet knots at the bottom. If the bottom is nicely untangled, by the time you get to the top, it will brush all the way down. So I'm gonna speed this up for you guys. You guys don't need to watch all of this. Guys, if I'm really honest with you, this Ali Pearl hair is the softest hair I've ever, ever, curly hair that I've ever used in my life, literally and it actually is much easier to detangle. If this was any other hair, I would literally be detangling it for like 45 minutes. So once I've finished untangling it, just remove the hair from the brush. You don't want to keep brushing back hair in. I'm gonna grab my spray bottle, which I actually got from I think the hair shop, but you can literally get them anywhere, guys. It comes as an empty spray bottle. Right now, we've got water and conditioner in it, which I've put in it, but just one of these guys, grab them from the hair shop, grab them from Poundland, grab them for whatever. As long as it sprays, it's what you need. So in my bottle, I've put water and conditioner. 
Um, I love this conditioner, Argan Oil Conditioner, which I actually use even for my hair. It just makes your curls pop, it's banging, it's a pound. And you'll never actually think it does what it does until you try it. So try it guys, it comes in a shampoo and a conditioner, and that's what I wash my hair with anyway. But I've realized out of all the conditioners I've used, this Argan Oil Conditioner is actually the best one out of all of them. So I've mixed that with some water in here, and what you're just gonna do is you're just gonna spray. So it doesn't matter actually how you spray it, top or bottom or whatever, just spray it and soak the hair. So as I'm spraying, just using my hand to just make sure the water runs all the way through the hair. This bit is quite long, so I'm gonna speed it up. What I also like to do just to make sure there's no knots in the hair, whilst I spray it, I like to just run my brush through it, my wide tooth comb through it. Takes a lot of hard work, but the finished look is amazing. So just make sure you're just patient with it. Really, really soak your hair. It looks nice. So parting the hair in two has just allowed me to be able to untangle it much better, much easier. Because untangling the whole hair at once just means that you're gonna end up missing out bits and we don't want to do that. So, so far, this is what it looks like. Obviously, very, very different so far to um, the other side of the hair, obviously, but that's just it. Curly hair will always bounce back. If it's really good curly hair, it doesn't matter how you took it off your head. If it's good curly hair, it will literally bounce back to how it used to be. So cool. So as I've done that now, I'm gonna move on to the other side and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. Cool, so the next step. Now that the whole hair is now got water and conditioner in it, soft and free moisturizing conditioner, which is actually for natural hair. But I mean, black people's natural hair is naturally curly. So I was thinking, if black people's hair are naturally curly and we need something for curly hair, why don't we use this? The water and conditioner in your hair will define your curls, but not for long. So this is what will keep the curls stuck in your hair. So I just like to rub it through my hands like this. Rub it through my hands and just usually, and just go through my hair, making sure every bit of my hair has it. Actually smells really nice as well. So about two or three handfuls uh, should, should be enough for three bundles of hair. Do the same on the other side. As I'm doing this, I'm just scrunching the hair like this. As you can see the curls, the bottom are so beautiful. Look at that, oh, that is hair porn. This is now the last and final step of the curly hair doing tutorial. I'm tired. <laughs> I now use the foam wrap lotion from Olive Oil Mousse. Let me see if I can show you that. Yes, this is my all time personal favorite guys. Um, there's many different types of this item. There's like castor oil type, all of them types, but obviously I'm just gonna recommend what I've used, which is the olive oil type. And I do Even though it's like watery, it comes out in a foam, like that. That's what it comes out looking like. So what you're gonna do is exactly the same, I'm gonna rub it through my hands and I'm just gonna go through my hair. This is what actually, it makes your hair a little bit hard. Um, obviously it's a mousse, and what it does is it just keeps the curls in your hair. Um, so what I usually do after putting on all those products through the night I will just add like maybe two or three handfuls through it because obviously curly hair will eventually dry and it will get bigger And if you want it to completely stay like this then you have to carry on putting some foam in it and just scrunching as you go along You put water and conditioning in your hair once your hair dries your hair's gone back to being as bushy as it was before Whereas these they keep the hair a lot curlier than if you were to just put water and conditioner in it. My hair is now how I want it to look. The last, last step of my hair maintenance. So I've got to wipe my hands, my hands are so wet. This is where I grab my favorite ever LA Pro Gel Concealer in the color Warm Honey. Please do not use Warm Honey unless you are my color. Use the color that suits your skin best. I am just going to apply what is already on the brush. I do not squeeze because we do not go overboard with the concealer, guys. Listen to your big sister. And you're just going to apply it in your part because we do not like invisible parts here. As you can see, I've put way too much, even though every single time, so you guys to calm down, I go crazy. Using a brush with nothing on it, I'm just going to blend that in. 
because like I said before, the thing I hate the most is when I see beautiful, beautiful done hair and I don't see a parting. I'm thinking, sis, what is it that you're doing right there? What type of look is that? It's not in style yet, maybe in a hundred years. And that just completes the look. So yeah, guys, I am now done with my hair tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it and it wasn't too long. This is literally just how I keep my hair maintained because curly hair is really, really hard to look after. If you don't know all the details underneath in the description box, every product I've used and also where to purchase the hair. I hope that you guys enjoyed my, my lips have been dry this whole time. Nobody wants to tell me. I hope that you guys have enjoyed my hair tutorial and that it actually helps you guys. I love you guys. Make sure you like, subscribe and share.